going to talk about politics and Percy Jackson in one with this quite interesting video. You know who the radical is in Percy Jackson? It's Percy Jackson. You know, the character who can recognize that the gods are obviously abusive and the system they have set up is fucked up. But he also recognizes from the very beginning, as soon as he gets to camp, that if you go after the gods too much, then all the people you care about, the demigods, his people, his community, are harmed. From the second book on, Percy is keeping to himself that he knows that Luke is never coming back, that he is evil, that there is no changing him. He keeps it from everybody. He goes out of his way not to talk about it with anyone because he is trying to protect the people around him from realizing that until they are ready. He puts his community, his priority is with his community over everyone else. That's why it's the most infuriating thing of all time when you get to the last book and Luke is like, don't forget about people like me and Ethan. He never forgot about those people, you fucking maniacal murdering bastard. You did. He's been trying to protect all of them from you for the last five years because you are an egoistic little bitch. If your idea of revolution is somebody that would take a 12 year old child out into the woods to kill them, you need to find some empathy because that is fucking terrifying what you are willing to put up with because you think the system will be taken down.